Well, let's keep trucking. So let's talk a little bit about how Linux does jobs. So first we can do at now plus two minutes. And let's just do wall two minutes. And then control D gets me out of that and I have a job. By the way, I can just hit the up arrow and do another one. Wall to A minutes. Control D. Um, now if I do at dash, uh, sorry, at Q, we can see there's two jobs there. Um, I can remove one at RM and I just give it the job number one. I think I barely caught it in time. Date. Well, so now if we do at Q, we only have the second one there. Okay. So what we can do with at is schedule something in the future. You can use now, you can use the date time. One of the things you need to pay attention to is what time your system has. So I had some people uh, the other day that are saying, hey, I'm scheduling something, but it's always for the next date. That's because the time zone difference. When they're trying to schedule something for five minutes from now, they were thinking of current time zone, but that time is past for the time zone on their server. Okay, so that's at. Now cron is a little different. So we can do cron tab dash E to edit a cron tab. This one you can see is empty. It's not gonna help me much. So let's get out. Um, and let's look at the cron tabs in, in Etsy cron tab. So, sudo um, ls etsy cron star let's look at so we can see there's quite a few here cron deny is if you're denying people by the way there's my message that just came to a that i didn't delete um so cron deny, deny let's look at etsy cron tab sudo less etsy cron tab so here it talks about, hey, the, sh the shell, bin bash, path. So it's setting some things up. Notice that it's setting up some of the environment because by default, none of the environment is set up with these. Um, mel to root. So if you have messages, it's going to go to root. That's one of the reasons we usually redirect the output, the standard in and standard out, so it doesn't drive us crazy and fill up root's mailbox. And then you have an example here of what minute do you want to run on of what hours of what months of of what month you know day of month month and day of week okay so and then there's the username who you're going to run it as the and the command to be executed okay so you can run a command to run a program you can run a command to run a script you can run a command that's just a command doesn't matter um so let's look at some of these to understand what they are so you notice cron tab, but they also there's these cron d, so you know kind of what cron d, what the dot d is from some other videos. That's where we can put stuff usually, and it runs, um, so we don't edit the the default files. We can create our own file. So that's sudo less etsy cron dot d, and let's look at zero hour. And you can see that this just runs every hour at one one minute into the hour. As root, it runs parts Etsy cron hourly. Okay. And you notice it sets up some of the environment before. Quit. Now let's look at the next one. Raid check. System wide raid check. Uh, zero hour. So uh, sorry, zero minute at one. AM, yeah, well, by default, 1 AM, 1 AM, so one hour, zero minutes on Sunday, okay? So zero hour, one minutes on the day of the month, the month, the day of the week, and the user, okay? Let's look at another one. Sudo less sysstat. Oh, what am I doing? Look at this one. Maybe this will be the last one we look at. Oh, 
Chrome.d. It better because be the last one because I'm getting tired. It looks like. Okay, so this one says run system activity tool every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes it's going to run this. So that is every minute star divided by 10. So so every 10th minute. This this one's commented out. This one's commented out. This one, it, well, it's a, sorry, it's a comment. It's going to run stuff right before midnight. So the 23rd hour, 53 minutes. So 23rd hour, 53 minutes of every day of the month, of every month, of every day of the week as root, and this is what it runs. Okay? So I hope you've seen uh, with that, we could actually do a cron tab dash E and edit EC2's cron tab if we wanted. I'm not going to do that in this video, um, but you've seen enough that you could figure it out now. Okay. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next one.